Welcome back to my channel, Pop Ross, and today I'm going to be showing you some tips and tricks about the mine. Before we get started, let's go ahead and grab everything that we need. We're going to need a mine pass, of course. We're going to get some old keys, and we're going to have some food for our stamina, and we're going to have food for our health. And also it gives you good defense as well. We're going to have a weapon to attack things, and an iron hammer to break things, and a pickaxe to mine things and also a jackhammer to mine things but it get it to it so before we go into the mines you have to get a license from mining and you can get a license from Fletch let's go talk to her pull up the license menu see a mining license this allows you to chop rocks down mine rocks down and then eventually you'll get access to the actual mine but before you get access to that, you can only do it on the surface. But we're gonna go inside of here, use our pass to access to the ground level, basement level, the mine level. Pull out our jackhammer, which is better than an actual pickaxe. Sometimes you'll find things like a chest open the chest and you get all kinds of goodies like orange paint uh, fertilizer copper bars iron bar and an opal which you can sell for a lot of money quick tip for mining when you have a light you can use a light to stun an enemy and then just wail on them freely it works on bats as well but it's hard to kill the bat unless they're lower, so they have to be about to attack you. If you have a key, you can open up these gates. They'll allow you to get to certain areas. If you happen to have a jackhammer, you should bring a jackhammer because it can do a lot more to these rocks and break through walls really quick and easy rather than using a pickaxe which takes a lot more time and it, the durability of the pickaxe is a lot less than the jackhammer and once you get the charging station you can charge up your jackhammer look at how much faster it is to use a jackhammer than it was to use a pickaxe even with iron which is the hardest thing in here But if you're interested in knowing what a jackhammer can do, that's what it can do. And here's another door. You can use your key to access it. And it allows you access to these rooms that have these chests. And you can get things like iron pickaxe, jack rabbit, or sorry, jackaroo statue. And this is where the food comes in handy. You use your food to increase your health. Sometimes if you use the right kind of food, like shark meat or crocodile meat, it increases the max health as well. But a quick way to make a lot of money is to use these keys to access these rooms to get into these chests and then just bulldoze your way through these pathways. And you can get things such as this. When you get one of these items, you're gonna wanna take it straight back to the exit. You don't want to waste time with it because you're going to have to keep picking it up, put it down, picking it up, put it down every time you want to mine a rock. And it's just time consuming. So as soon as you get something like this, you want to immediately take it back to your elevator and then just drop it. You get another one, take the elevator and drop it. And whenever you go back up to the surface, it'll all still be in your elevator and you can just take it out one at a time and then sell it to John. These big rocks that you see here, they have a lot of random rocks in them and sometimes shiny stones. So it's always a good idea to break these if you see it. And even regular rocks, regular rocks sometimes have stone in them, but sometimes they have a rare item like a fossil or they'll have shiny stone. And you can use those shiny stones to possibly get iron ore or you can get any kind of ore really from those shiny rocks and you can get three different ores and it's 
a random chance for what or it'll be sometimes you'll find these broken down cars if you break these down you get a lot of good things that you would normally need a metal detector to find on the surface but you can find them here easily so i've been in the mines for maybe 10 minutes now and i've already got pretty much a full inventory of items so that's how quickly you can fill up your inventory and get valuable items to take back up to the surface and sell Right now I'm cooking some crock meat because crock meat has an added benefit of increasing your maximum health. There you go, max health increased. So when you kill these crocodiles down here, I highly recommend that you cook the meat up and use that to heal yourself throughout your time in the cave. Another thing, another thing that you'll find it, are these containers look like trash cans with like a yellow top. Break these open because they also have a lot of good things that you normally find when you are using your metal detector. I just wanted to add that from the money that you saw earlier, I was able to make this much money from selling all the items. Not all the items, but just a lot of the items that I found in the mines just now. And... I'm going to show you something because this is the first time I'm seeing it, but these paint cans can be used to paint your vehicle. So now I have a purple vehicle and if I want it, I can make an orange vehicle or I can just sell the paint. There, there you have it. So you can find paint in the mines. You can find opals. By the way, the opals for me because I have a commerce license sell for 18,000 a piece. For you, they might sell, they might sell for about 12 to 15,000 I'm not sure and John is really enjoying that butterfly but yeah make sure you go out there into the mines as soon as you get a chance if you really want to make some real cash so yeah I'll see you guys later thank you for watching like comment and subscribe and I will be making more dinkum tutorial videos as I find out things in the game